In today's video, I'm just going to recreate one of the setups that we looked at in the breakout session today, and it was in CXO. This is a daily chart, and I will tell you that if what I'm looking at plays out, that I'm looking for a minimum target of this 131.10 area, and then a secondary target would come in at 136.91. So where does the setup come from? It's actually a two-step pattern that I'm looking at where you have 100% of the first swing down very similar to this second swing down and that support would come in at 109.41 let's see actual low so far was um, 109.76 close enough then we're also going to look and see if that overlaps a retracement of the prior swing and it does overlap um, with a 50% retracement so you have 50% of one swing, 100% of the first swing down, and then what we need last was um, an extension of this prior low to high, which is you know part of that zigzag pattern. I want to see either a 1272 or a 1618 overlap that other area. So here we're just going to take this low to this high, and you can see that we did actually um, go slightly through the 1272, but you're still above the 1618. So this is pretty much the setup. It's a two-step pattern setup into support. I'm going to use this as my definition of risk, you know, the support decision between 107.95 to 109.93. Now it's already given you a little bit of a rally at, off of this area and for example this is a 15-minute chart trigger which would be you know the aggressive swing trade trigger so when you had the moving average crossover and you also took out a prior swing high, once both of those things occurred, then it's okay to look at the buy side. Um, but since it's already rallied off of that area, the safer bet would be to see if it pulls back a little bit, maybe have a little bit of a symmetrical pullback that might overlap, you know, anywhere between a 50% to a 7.86 retracement. And that would be, you know, a secondary entry for that one. And your risk at that point can be defined underneath this low or underneath the low end of the zone. Now the other things I'll show you is that you know your typical target for a two-step pattern is the 1272, the full two-step or zigzag pattern. And then second target would be the 1618. Third target, 2618. We don't see those as quite as often though. And then as far as a hurdle. I'd want you to watch this resistance on the way up that comes from symmetry of these prior swings. And then let's look at the retracements. And then I'm also going to run the, the slightly smaller retracement here of this prior high to low. Okay. And that overlaps that other symmetry. So your Targets remain the same. Your hurdles are relatively close, uh, but what I would look at at this point is get a little bit of a pullback from this last high and look at uh, you know a buy entry and define risk either under this low or underneath that support. The actual um, cluster of resistance that comes in, let me just label that for you real quick. It's 117.61. to, well, then 120 up to 120.13 is the area of resistance that we need to clear if we are um, going to increase the odds for a continued rally from this low. We need to clear this for that 131.10.